Hey, if you're looking for a house you can move into fairly soon, you don't have time to build from the ground up and you want to make sure there's nobody else's toenails in the carpet, we've got a good option for you today. Yes, today we're in Nexton and we're going to look at a specific builder that has all homes almost already done, ranging from 1,300 square feet up to 2,500 square feet. And if we don't know each other, my name is Mark, this is Jeff. We're with the Charleston Area Living Team. It's a beautiful day. A gorgeous today. day here in Nexton. What a great location. Uh, I love this area because there's so much to do in downtown Somerville and the next in part of Somerville. We're super close to Cane Bay. You can get all around this area by golf cart, running trails, hospitals are close, jobs are close, restaurants are close, Mark and I are close. That, that right there makes it a great location. Right? Absolutely. And bring cookies if you want to. Yes. Yeah. Never Actually, gets... no, we're going on a diet. We can't. <laughs> no, no cookies. cookies. No carrots. Cookies. Bring carrots. <laughs> bring like carrots. rabbits. Actually, right. you know what? Screw it. Bring cookies. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go check out some of these homes. We're yep. going to drive over, check them out, and we'll be back. See you in a few. are at a three bedroom, two and a half bath, 1,641 square foot home by David Weekly. We haven't been inside yet. Obviously there's some painting and stuff going on here. So I'm just hopeful we get out without paint on our shirts because we've screwed up before. I like the double porches right off the bat. Oh yeah. And then you know what else I like that they do here in Nexton? It's these cool little signs. I'm still up for grabs. <laughs> I'm available. Yeah. Pick me, pick, pick me. me. Oh, pick me! Oh, I know! I know! Me! Me! They're kind of neat. That doesn't sound a little needy, though. Yeah, maybe. High maintenance? Yeah, a little bit. So, big porch here. The so big, right tall, eight-foot doors are nice. Oh, yeah, I like that glass, too. Yeah. So, office, right? Office, flex room. Yep. Dining. Remember, don't touch walls. Thank you. Don't touch walls. Uh, got a half bath here at the front. Okay. And... For 1,600 square foot, pretty big open space here. I like it. I Check out the that backsplash. backsplash. That's pretty. I like that color. What would you call that color? Aqua blue, maybe? A aqua blue. What do you think? I like that. OK. That seems like it would be. Yeah, I like it. So they did not put a gourmet kitchen in this one. Sometimes they build them with, sometimes they don't. So the gourmet means it has more of a, an ornate hood above it. And this has got the set in place. Uh, but it is a gas neighborhood. Got a big bowl sink in it. So paranoid not to touch any walls. <laughs> so you can definitely fit in there. Yeah. And the tech closet's in here. Okay. I like the, uh, what do they call it? Craftsman trim? Oh yeah, the higher, like four inch tall. And it's boxier. It's not like sloped up or yep. something. I'm, I'm using really technical That's terms right. there. Sloped up. Sloped up. That's a realtor term. <laughs> Big porch. All right, so these, uh, some of these homes in this neighborhood have attached garages, right? Mm -hmm. And some of them have detached garages like this. So um, there's a two car garage here and then behind it is probably one parking space maybe. Yep. Um, but then there's also street parking in the front of the house. Yes. And so not a big yard. If nope. you had a huge dog, this probably not the, the right house for you. Yep. You got a little yippy dog? It might be all right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A kitty cat. So we always talk about the good, the bad, the ugly on this, right? Yeah, bring it. My like thing, feedback to the builders, just connect those two little pads. Right. Why are you gonna make people walk, walk through mud? Walk through the grass, yeah, especially, it, and it's a low point right there because yeah. of the way the water flows. Right. That's a good thought. Yeah. But just, you, could t you could totally put little stepping stones. Easily, yeah, in yeah, there. yeah. Or just take off your shoes and go barefoot through yeah. the grass. absolutely. So they're working up in the attic here. Oh, here. Look at this space here. Uh-oh. I've got to get through there without touch. I think the wall's dry, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to suck it in. Okay. And I'm going for it. But once you suck it in, you're going to go fast. One, two, three. <gasps> you think I made it? I think you made it. Good job. So out here in the front, you got the double porch action. Has the porch. You see the street parking here. So obviously construction's done right now. But once this is all out of here and cleaned up, this will be much better. Yeah. Pretty houses though. They are pretty. It's like you're living in a downtown Downton Abbey. Not Downton Abbey, what's that? I don't even know what Downton Abbey is. Downton Abbey's the big castle in England. 
This isn't this isn't castle ish. No. But it is like a downtown type feel. Today we're gonna figure out what in the blazes Mark is talking about. That's the goal of the day. <laughs> All right. Full bath here. Full bath, yeah. So this is the primary. Full closet. Yeah, this is the primary. Okay. And then in the hall here, a washer and dryer space. And then oh, two more bedrooms. Was that bad hall. luck? What? Oh, did you walk no, down the ladder? No. If I break a mirror, so if in I bring the, to that, the camera on the, does that mean everybody walks into the ladder? So two equal size bedrooms here. Okay. And then another full bath uh, shared. Right. So a lot of good space for just over 1,600 square feet. And how much is this one? Four thirty. All right. So this is going to be the smallest one we're going to see today, Jeff. Okay. 1,370 square feet, and many people will say. You can't get in next in for under four hundred thousand. This house proves them wrong. This is what does it. Three ninety nine even. Look what's above the porch here in the front. Ooh, your you favorite got the gas lantern. Your favorite gas lantern. You did those in your house, right? No. Whoa. Oh. Oh, that's right. You that didn't. Too cheap. I built it and I didn't put them in, and I wished I had. And you knew that, and you knew you were going to upset me when you said that, and you chose to do it anyway. So you got a guest suite at the front and a guest bathroom, right? Yep. So this is cool, it has the office. So it's got two bedrooms, two baths, plus the office. So if uh, you know somebody wanted one level living yeah, and didn't want to be in a 55 plus community. It, it, it almost feels like one of the, mm -hmm. the cottage style 55 yeah. pluses. Yeah, that's a pretty big office. Actually, the office is bigger than the bedroom. Is it? Yeah. Now we have been seeing a lot of people ask for Murphy beds lately. Mm -hmm. So this could be a third bedroom, put a little shade on the windows. Yep. Good to go, right? I've always wanted to close up a Murphy bed with the kids inside it. <laughs> I mean, I'll let them out quickly, but. So a little bit lighter tone cabinets here than the whites and the grays that we've been seeing. So it's more natural, but you got the gourmet kitchen in this one. Nice five burner, gas, stove top. Got one of them uh, magical 20 plus button ovens. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. And then the big stainless steel hood, of Very course. Nice. Is this one of those lem, lem lazy Susans? Nope. No, I, I think I think. It oh, it good. is? Yeah. I just want to twirl it. Put a cat in there and spin around a little bit. Oh, you Your would love cat that. would like it. You would love that. Uh, pretty big open space here. So obviously they, they did the thing for the TV on the wall there. Huge windows. Right? They're I mean, really wide. This wall is like windows. Yeah. <clears throat> and then back here must be the primary. Obviously, your washer and dryer. Yep. Is right in here. Oh, hey, Mark. The uh, the tankless water heater. Oh, it's in there. Thermostat is in here also. Just the thermostat. That's good. Yeah. So not a huge primary. Um, but, but for a, how many square feet? Thirteen seventy. Yeah. So this is decent though. Yeah, totally. And then we got the primary bathroom. You got a closet here. You got a really nice shower here. No, no bench in the shower. And then the toilet area. So not bad for 1,300 square feet. No, I, I mean, two people, even if one worked at home, this would be big enough. Yes. And you got a nice little screen porch out here. And then of course the detached garage. And look, Mark, they put uh, they put a patio in between See, they, the... See, they listened to me already. Already. They, they <laughs> ran in here like 10 minutes ago and put in a patio. <laughs> How so, big are these? Oh, it's look. Nice little courtyard, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. So, nice little house for 1,300 plus square feet. Yep. All right, so, 2,194 square feet and a big front porch on this one. Yeah, I like it. Does what? it come with the golf cart? Uh, if you buy three homes, three homes you get in. a free golf cart. Okay. Yeah. Watch, I better not say that because we've had people buy multiple homes before. <laughs> no, it doesn't come with a golf cart. Okay, very good. Although I'm sure there is a number of homes if you buy with us that we would buy you a golf yeah. cart. Yeah, yeah, we can figure it out. Totally big enough for uh, multiple tables, chairs, couches, whatever. The, uh, what do they call them? The, the swing? swinging beds? Yeah, that'd, yeah. Be, that'd be cool here. Yeah, we could sleep right there. I thought somebody was in the house. It was my own reflection. There's <laughs> a good looking dude inside this house right now. Pretty door color. Yep. And this has the um, party plank siding. Yeah, so all of Nexton, right? I think so. Well, no, all of Brighton Park. Brighton Park. Has, I mean, Midtown. Midtown has the, the party plank siding. Yeah, absolutely. So in the front of the house here, there is a closet, a little coat closet, a bedroom with a decent size. 
with a smaller walk-in closet. Okay. And then, what is this room, Mark? I think it's another bedroom. Oh, this goes into another bedroom. I was, I was confused by the little turn. A little so bit smaller. another bedroom, but still another walk-in closet here. This would be a great office, kind of hidden. Oh, yeah. Here. I can. Hey, my office that I used up in Pittsburgh in my house, it was literally about that size. Really? Yeah. Without a window? Uh, You're not claustrophobic? No, no. I was, I, I'm okay. I actually went down in the, I went caving one time. Caving? Oh. Okay, yeah, you don't go into caves if you're claustrophobic. Yeah. <laughs> There's cavings for little people. <laughs> if you're this wide and the hole to get through is this wide, it becomes problematic. <laughs> the full bathroom is shared between these two. Not technically a Jack and Jill because it doesn't open into the right. bedrooms, but still so shares it. It's in its own little area. Yeah. These got to be 10 foot ceilings? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, two car garage. Okay. And then they put in a nice uh, landing drop zone here. Oh, very good. Yep. Very I tell good. you, it's shocking. Uh, do, you, do you have something like this at your house? I do now, yeah. It, it's crazy how quickly you fill up these hooks. Oh. Yeah. And, and we have baskets in those little bins. Yeah, and, we don't have that. And they all get overflow too. And laundry room here. Okay. With tech closet and your electrical. Oh, and they've got the uh, the water heater in here also. Oh, the, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's show them that. The gauge thing. Oh, the, the gauge thing. What do we call that? Temperature. The doohickey. The temperature, <laughs> the make it hotter bar. Somebody somebody will comment down below what yeah, that really is. I said, really, should, we should know that. All right, so this is an office because of the double doors. This is a big office. Does it go out? In, oh no! It's got, so what is up with that? I think it's, it's for like got, your uh, printer and your papers and okay. all of that kind of stuff. Our office would probably be a little prettier if we had a closet like right? that in our office. This is bigger than our office. Sonny. Huge windows. Yes. Those are gorgeous. I like it. Like two big eyeballs staring at you. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, I'm the that's what she said guy, not you. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Look, it comes with plates. And a pretty picture underneath the stove. The little oh. box above that is a little weird. Yeah, what's up with that? I don't know. And tell me that picture wouldn't get all saucy if you were cooking it. Yeah, here. that's just for show, I think. A little bit of a pantry here. You got quartz countertops. What is this one listed at, Jeff? Uh, 589. 589. So under 600 for almost 2,200 square feet. In Nexon. In Nexon. That's for your fridge. More monster windows. You could put put a big farmhouse table here too, I think. Oh, one of them like with the bench on one side, yeah. like an eight seater, 10 seater kind of a deal. You can totally fit. Yeah. This is almost big enough for a pool table. Yeah, that's true. So it's got the one door, but it's also got the triple slider. Which is really a double slider because one of them doesn't oh slide. Oh my goodness, this is an interesting lot. Yeah. We're going to see something that we don't see in South Carolina. A hill? A hill. I like how it opens like that for like, you know, the month of November and that's about it. Down yeah. <laughs> Look at this. So in the one snowfall that we get like every 20 years, you can sled ride in your own, <laughs> uh, on your own hill back here. Get It'll to be... go on a whopping two, three miles an hour down that hill. That's not very much of a no. thrill or anything. Yeah, kids might have fun. It's a big yard. Getting though. up there and rolling down it. I've never seen a hill in this neighborhood yeah. before. Maybe it was going to be a berm and they decided to put a fence I on. don't know. It's kind of a mystery, but I'm kind of curious about it. But you're right. This is a bigger lot. Two ceiling fans with the blue. And two, like not that this porch is small, but this porch would totally be okay with one ceiling fan. That's a lot of wind movement yeah. up there for this size porch. Yeah, you got to put your goggles on to sit out here. Right? Safety first. Yep. All right, so I feel like we're still missing the primary bedroom. Yes, right? back here this All way. Right. It's good size, hard floors, still the really tall. Again, look at this window. Yes, it's got a big, I don't know, is that, you think it's a, color, is that a bay window? Picture window, maybe? I think picture a bay window, window goes out. has the little yeah. turns and, yeah. So maybe a picture window. But still really nice. Yeah. And I love that. Is that a gray ceiling fan or? I think it's a dirty ceiling fan. Dirty? Okay. We won't show that anymore. Sorry, people. It'll be clean before you move in, yes. I promise. Yeah. Jeff will clean it if it's not. So I would, I would, I would clean the ceiling fan up to the house. Yeah. Yeah. 
You you look pretty with one of those little things that you. Oh, you could give me the, the, like a like a, a little made out yeah, thing yeah. with the feather duster. Yeah, that's pretty. Listen, YouTube, don't picture that. You do not want that go. I hope you're not watching this video right before. Editors, me. please put a made outfit on Jeff. No, please don't. Editors, come on. Remember, I pay you also, not just Mark. <laughs> So notice no door here into this. Oh yeah, yeah. It's big though. But it is big. It's more like a dressing room, this whole bathroom. Yeah. Than a bathroom. It's the dressing wing of the house. The dressing wing. It's huge. It's almost oh. as big as the bedroom. If you include the If closet. you included that, yeah. Is it, yeah, it's not here. Okay. It's, hid, it's hidden in the back corner. It, I was very confused. So, nice house. Really well laid out for 2,200 square feet. All on one level. Yep. All right, you caught us. We didn't just finish the homes with David Weekly. No, we went home and changed real and, quick. Well, you could clearly see we're in different clothes. We wanted to look better in shorts. Because, my kids make fun of me. How do C L O T H E S? How do you say that word? Clothes. I I had a little more. Clothes? See, I do a little more T H clothes in it, okay. and my kids say it like C L O S E clothes. Because we're uh, when the younger people are out trying to be faster. Oh, they're just trying to get through the word quicker. Yeah. They've got to get on to the next thing. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, we should probably get back to the thing we started. The yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finishing out this video. <laughs> so we, we did these videos over next and yesterday, and we forgot to close it out. Yes. And so we're here today. That's why we're wearing different clothes. But great models over there. Yeah. Some good values in Nexton. For being in Nexton with one of them being under 400000 Yeah. That's amazing. Really. And the amenity center over there is awesome. We talked about, you know, close proximity to everything. You can even get over here to Cane Bay, which is where we're at now, buy golf cart from that location. Absolutely. Or go down towards our office and have some lunch at Halls or get you some lunch Pugans at Halls. Porch or I've heard a lot. I've not been there yet. Is that the new one? Yeah. The Pugans, right? I think that's the new one. That's the one that's across the street. Right? Across the street. I think that's Pugan. No, maybe not. I think the Pugan's the one we've been to. Yeah. It's the new one. There's a new restaurant over there that Mama Greg says is awesome. She's been there four times in the last two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. she told me that last oh, night. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Spending my inheritance at whatever the name of that restaurant is in Nexton. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> so, listen, if you're looking to move in nine days, nine weeks, nine months, check out this channel. We appreciate you guys being here with us. If you have any questions, drop down into the description. You can click on the link there to uh, schedule a Zoom call and in-person with us. Yep. And don't ever, 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 ever go into Nexton unrepresented because, Mark, wouldn't you rather have us with you? Who would not want to have There's us no with downside you? to it. It's all yeah. upside, and you got to roll through the door the first time with your realtor. And do us a favor, click like on this video, and then hit the little bell and subscribe. It helps other people besides you and gets our videos out there so more people can discover Big the help. greatness in Somerville yeah. and the Charleston and, area. And how Mark and Jeff are. Yes. Yes. See y'all. Bye. <laughs>